Take a look at oil, $44.72 per barrel. That caused gasoline prices in turn to fall five cents over just the last week. AAA expects gasoline prices will fall, this is good news for the consumer, another 15 cents in the short term. What kind of impact does that have on economy and on businesses that aren't necessarily in the oil industry? How about the tire business? Michelin North America chairman and president Pete Selleck joining us now. And it takes petroleum to make tires, doesn't it? Liz, we use a lot of oil to make tires. And the price of oil also impacts the price of other commodities like natural rubber. Mm -hmm. So right now we have seen a drop, and that certainly has an impact oh, on the business. Oh, that's great for you guys, isn't it? Well, it is in the short term, and we know that it will come back up. We know it's cyclic. But, but the other thing is knowing that it's going to go back up. Since tires have such a huge impact on the fuel economy of vehicles, uh, we're, we're constantly working on new technology to make sure that when oil does run back up, that we have the technologies available to meet uh, those requirements. Well, specifically, a lot of people don't know this, but something like 20 percent of fuel consumed by vehicles, how much gasoline is burned, is due to overcoming that so-called rolling effect, the rolling resistance. So that's what you're talking about when you're talking about new technology. That's exactly right. And right now, the EPA fuel efficiency requirements for light trucks next year is going to increase rather significantly. Mm -hmm. So the car makers are desperate for ways to find uh, improvements in fuel technology. For example, we know the F-150, the advertising the Ford is doing, mm -hmm. talks about their switch from a steel body to an aluminum body to reduce the weight. Well, that's one way to improve fuel economy. But another way is to come up with fuel efficient tires. And we're leading the technology in that direction. We've got a debate tonight. CEOs and business leaders are desperate to hear some real answers about improving and stimulating the economy. What will you be listening for the most during tonight's debate? Well, tonight's debate is a start, but in the end, whoever occupies the White House in January in 2017 is going to face the same problem. And that's actually three issues. Number one, the fact that the fiscal imbalance in our company, this, the $18 trillion debt, the $500 billion annual uh, deficit, uh, that, is, that is something that has to be solved. It's not normal to have this size of deficit in an economy like we're having today. Second problem is infrastructure. Our infrastructure is running down in this country. We're not keeping up, and we've got to be making sure. investments. And the third issue is the corporate tax rate. Now, the last two issues well, are Well, you're an international company, so it bringing money back to, I, I mean, I know some of your headquarters are overseas. You've got it split. But, but for some companies, they're waiting to hear if there will be an ability to bring back money that's parked overseas, profits. Well, clearly right Without now the, 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 the tax system yeah. is a little bit out of whack. I think both parties agree. But you're not going to be able to solve that problem unless you comprehensively solve the issue of entitlements, tax reform, and discretionary spending at the same time, as Simpson Bowles tried to do back in 2009, 2010. Pete, it's great to see you. And my producer tells me it takes 7 to 10 gallons of oil to make a single tire. So it is in the short term very good to have oil prices below that. It is.